What? That would not be good, bro. They can't remove Roblox from the App Store, bro. Hey, you, do you want to be really cool? Because you can by joining the other 23% who are subscribed. All the rest of you are losers. I'm just kidding. Don't forget to use code C when you get Robux in premium. And I didn't even like know about this news that's going on right now. All right, so, so we'll watch has this. removed all games off the website. There are no. So they removed games apparently, but like they're, they're renaming them is, is what I got so on far. Roblox. Now you may have heard a few people talking about this over the past day. I originally wasn't gonna make a video on this, but the more I think about it, the more like I, I just I need to talk about it. I need to share my thoughts on it because I, dude, there's so much to talk about here. And so I don't even know the reason, like why they're changing it yet. So that, that's like what I'm finding out right now. If you don't know, this has to do directly with Fortnite. This has to do directly with Apple. Everything going on right now, both good and bad. Directly with Fortnite and Apple. Because, like, Apple is suing Fortnite or something now or something like that. And for Roblox, I don't know. I don't do know the connection fully. With Fortnite. Fortnite got removed off of the App Store. Could Roblox get removed off of the App Store, off of iPhones? Like, there's a lot to talk about here. Like, for example, The Verge, which is an online gaming news. What? That would not be good, bro. They can't remove Roblox from the App Store, bro. I literally put out a news article a few hours ago talking about whether or not Roblox could actually be removed from the App Store. Like, there's there's so much going on here. This is probably going to be a really long video. Before we hop into it, though, I do need to tell you about the sponsor for this video. And after the sponsor, we're going to hop into this. We're going to talk about it because a lot of this is actually pretty serious. And, well, I, I really want to talk about it. All right, so this video is sponsored by probably one of the most unique shout out to blair witch if you guys want to watch the sponsor uh go or even if you want to support the sponsor use creek's code for 20 percent off in his link but we're watching for the news so let's see what's going on heard about this but roblox has removed all games and i put that in quotation marks games from the <laughs> website uh games are now called experiences on roblox if you go on the roblox website all mention of the word games has been taken off of the oh. website up at the top it now says discover it doesn't say games anymore oh all right when did they do that how recently was that if you go to your home page, it no longer says friends playing. It says friends visiting. What what games are they visiting? <laughs> or experiences, I should say. <laughs> Why is it so funny? It's like they found a loophole, though. It's like they, they had to do that. But, like, nothing seems like it's actually changing, right? There's a lot more to it than that. Like, for example, there's some screenshots here where, it, like, just... What the experiences... <laughs> they just replaced the word game with experience and everything. Just look at it. Like these make absolutely no sense at all. Slow like, the experience. experiences developer has temporarily shut down the experience server. Please try again. Again, that used to say the game developer has temporarily shut down the games server. Please try again. Slow experience. Like what? 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 What's going on here? <laughs> Could they not have thought something better than the word experience though? That's the real thing. Here. So Jay Party, who is the head of Roblox de ga game develop, well, I guess they're experienced developers now, aren't they? Uh, anyway, he 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 works with Roblox. Blocks. He put out this here and he says this is an intentional update. The term experience they changed it a couple of days ago. Okay. Is consistent with how we've Thank evolved you. our terminology to reflect our realization of the metaverse. Roblox is an online community where people do things together in virtual worlds. And over the years, we began referring to these worlds as experiences as they better represent the wide range of 3D immersive places from obvious to virtual concerts that people can enjoy together with their friends. No Honestly, it kind of makes sense because like sometimes I join like a quote unquote game. And it's just like not, it's not a game. Like it's like, cause like anybody can make a Roblox experience. You know what I mean? Like you'll sometimes just join and be like, what, what is, what even is this? Like, this is, this is not a game. Like this is just, but also like the concerts, those aren't games either. That that's a hundred percent an experience. It's like a more broad term. Like it, it actually covers more grounds than just games, but like, there's gotta be more to it. Cause it, Creek hasn't talked about like the Fortnite thing yet. Uh, or Apple like what's like the actual main reason they're doing it But uh, in my opinion even if there wasn't like any threat of being sued or something like that I I'd still think it kind of makes sense. It just it does cover the ground more. It's more broad No, I might get it, in trouble for this, but I see I, I, I'm gonna make this video I'm gonna talk about it anyway Um really if you go to the, actually the, the developer forms where he put this post a lot of the game developers are pretty upset about this response and honestly I think this response is it's PR talk basically it's what Roblox needed to say to look good but it's not why are people upset I mean should I read that article like I, I'm confused on why like devs would be upset uh honest opinion this sounds more like a corporate excuse to me after epic games versus apple Corp. what 
why did, what do we do all of a sudden about the Apple Store? Oh, we could use the Metaverse event as a vehicle to switch all of a sudden. And with that, I ask, when is Roblox reverting this update? Unlike games, the name is out of place and would never fit. Last time I checked, 90% of this website was all about games. The other 10% was blah, 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 blah. Dude, see, I don't know. Sometimes people just, like, feel like they have to complain about something. But, like, does that? it's not going to change your experience. <laughs> like, dude, just because it's called experience doesn't mean that you can't make a game anymore. Like, it's just a, it's just a word, bro. And honestly, I think this I response know. is it's PR talk. Basically, it's what Roblox needed to say to look good, but it's not entirely the truth. And what I'm trying to say here is that it looks like Roblox just suddenly did this really quickly because if you go to roblox.com, it still says games. If you go to the groups, it's still... <gasps> Oh my God, somebody call 911 right now. Says game. So Roblox clearly did this really fast all of a sudden, but why? Why would Roblox suddenly, in, in, in the middle of the night, change all of the games to experiences? Why would they do that? Well, this ties back directly to Epic versus Apple. Epic Games versus Apple. Now, if you're not familiar with what's going on, I'll quickly break it down for you. So basically, if you played Fortnite, you know it used to be on Fortnite. iPhone. It used to be on iOS. It is no longer on iOS. You can no longer play it on iPhones and the so it never came back I actually never knew that I never knew that it was completely off of the app store forever I thought it was like a temporary thing but I forgot that Fortnite actually made this like uh thing where they're like low-key like calling out Apple and like trolling them a little bit the reason so. for that is well a mix of things so if you are a game on iOS a video game on the Apple phones the iPhones all right you have to pay Apple 30 percent of every in-game purchase that you get so for example let's say that I bought ten dollars worth of Robux on my iPhone okay that means that Apple would get 30 percent of that or three dollars and then Roblox would get seven dollars of that and it was the same thing with Fortnite right if you bought ten dollars of V bucks on Fortnite Apple took $3 of that. Epic only got $7. And Epic okay. said, hey, you know what? This is kind of crazy. We're losing a lot of money here because Apple's taking 30% of, uh, of our money. Like, what are we going to do about this? Well, their options were to either make customers pay more to offset the cost of the 30%, right? So instead of maybe $10, maybe $13 for V-Bucks, or take Fortnite off of the App Store and just let people download it some other way. And well, the problem with that is Apple actually says that if you're a game on iPhone, phones you have to be in the app store no questions what Otherwise the heck dude apple is so like such a troll bro like how oh, that's annoying though that, that cannot so that part's more annoying to me like all these like logistics of apple like oh, yes you can download an app but if it's a game then you can't download it from another website but you can download it if it's not a game but just if it's a game it has to be through us and then also we're going to take a percent which i understand why they take a percent but obviously no company wants to charge more so that they can make the same amount that's annoying too but it's more like the are you like you have to if it's a game then you can only get it in the app store but anything else i didn't even know you can download apps anywhere else in the app store though so like how would that work let's see be on iphone so that means that fortnite has to be in the app store and they have to give 30 percent of all in-game purchases to apple and it's the same with any other game minecraft roblox doesn't matter what game it is is the exact same so fortnite said you know what this is ridiculous. Take us off the app store. We're going to sue you, Apple. We're going to take you to court. This is really dumb. Like, our customers shouldn't have to pay more. And, you know, obviously, they're losing a lot of money. They're upset about that. And Epic Games, the creator of Fortnite, and Apple are currently in court uh, battling back and forth over this. And that is pretty cool, actually, that they did that. Because Epic could have easily just raised the price and then just gone with that or taken less money. Because, in reality, they're losing way more money than they would if they would have just gave the 30% up to Apple. So they're really taking a stand against the, the big dogs, the big old Apple man guy. And well, this ties directly into Roblox. And the reason it ties directly into Roblox is because Epic Games, the creator of Fortnite, they basically said, hey, what 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 about Roblox? Because Roblox is a game that's in the App Store, but they <laughs> No Roblox, why did you call yourself out? Why would you do this to yourself? Oh, basically the reason we can't have games is because of greedy companies. Ah, oh, man. Oh, God, that is not a good enough reason for me. They don't pay 30% more. They don't pay 30% to Apple. Like, if you go on iOS and you buy Robux, it's the exact same price as it is on PC or on Android or on Xbox. And that's because Roblox doesn't actually pay Apple 30%. And Epic Games was like, if they can do it, why can't we do it? What's going on there? Or like, why, why is what Roblox the heck? not in trouble? Did Epic really do that? Did Epic call out Roblox? <laughs> what? 
<laughs> that didn't, is that actually how it happened? Or is <laughs> Why is Roblox still in the App Store? Shouldn't they get removed from the App Store too? And Apple basically oh. said, oh shoot, man. Um, Well, that's because Roblox isn't actually a game. Roblox is an experience. I'm not even joking. That's <laughs> Apple said that? What? It's literally what they said. Someone from Apple here said, if you think of a gamer app, games are incredibly dynamic. Games have a beginning and end. There's challenges in place. I look at the experiences that are in Roblox similar to the experiences that are in Minecraft. There are maps, there are worlds, and they have boundaries in terms of what they're capable of. Therefore, Roblox is an app, it's an experience, it's not a game. Now, this is a really dumb argument by Apple, and unfortunately, Roblox seems to agree with this. <laughs> It's kind of true, like, because Roblox is like a social media website, though, a little bit, too. Like, you don't just log on and then you're in the game. Like, when you launch Fortnite, you are basically, like, all you, you have the option to play a Fortnite game or, like, buy something. But, like, Roblox, you could just go on the website, scroll through, go to, like, a catalog, uh, look for, like, a billion different, like, fan-made created actual games though they are games like like i'm not trying to argue they're not games but like i don't know fortnite does seem like more of a game a little bit you know what i mean <laughs> like there's not you can't do as much with it like you can't just make your entire own thing in fortnite now i know how they have creative mode and stuff like that but it's still like baseline at the end of the day the uh like there's not that much like developer like coding work that you can do as much as you can code with roblox but the argument is that games have a beginning and end and if they don't have a beginning and end, then they're not games. Now, this is really, that's, really dumb. Like, yeah, that's example, dumb. I agree Call with that. Call of Duty multiplayer, it doesn't have an end. You just keep leveling up over and over and over again. There is no end. Therefore, it's not a game called... Call Wait, did you say Warzone or... Is that games have a beginning and end... And if they don't have a beginning and end, then they're not games. Now, this is really, really dumb. Like, for example, Call of Duty multiplayer, it doesn't... Have multiplayer, though, but the campaign has an end i think that that's what they mean more maybe I, I don't know but like any multiplayer game doesn't have an end yeah have an end you just keep leveling up over and over and over again but does there fortnite is have an end i mean there's the save the whatever but fortnite has less of an end than like a game like call of duty so yeah that is a dumb argument fortnite doesn't have an end what the heck what is that e How fortnite's one of the only games that doesn't have an end i mean like you can win but you can win in any game what yeah now this is really not making sense they just really don't like fortnite apple's just like you somebody hacked my account took all my v bucks this is why we're suing you epic this is the real reason there's no in therefore <laughs> it's not a game call call of duty is not a game anymore wait what how, how saying is that Minecraft fortnite isn't a game it's an experience because there is no end to minecraft and well technically there is but you can keep playing after the credits and since you can keep playing after the credits that means that minecraft isn't a video game it doesn't minecraft have more of an end than fortnite <laughs> like it's an experience again this is really really dumb because i'm pretty sure there's not a single person on the planet that would say that minecraft is not a video game it is obviously a video game call of duty yeah. is a video game halo is a video game uh every fortnite is a video game roblox is a video game and well anyway after epic uh, said this it, it kind of put roblox uh in the fire roblox was like oh <laughs> shoot if fortnite got removed from the app store for doing that and we're doing the same thing as them we need to we need to think we, we got to do something fast so it seems like Ro what roblox did is they quickly changed all the wording of games to experiences to hey. support the argument that hey roblox hey. is a game it's an experience please don't remove us from the app store i'm now, fine I don't really with think it roblox had much of a choice here obviously getting removed from the app store would be really really bad and so I, I feel like roblox was forced to do this yeah they were forced to change everything to experiences otherwise they would have gotten removed from the app store just like epic just like fortnite but anyway the reality is is uh, unless something changes unless the the judge in the court case says something different it would appear that roblox now has experiences and the reason why i don't like this is like you know the, the people on roblox mini tune he's a game developer he's not an experienced developer i uh, thank you for the super chat, Rain. This is a, a really funny video. This video goes greatly with the title. Yeah, <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> this is a hilarious video. Well, it is kind of funny that like Roblox has to do this. Like, it's just so weird. It's it, like the logistics are stupid. Uh, but it's like so stupid to me that it's like the argument of saying like saying that Minitune isn't a game developer now just because now he's an experienced 
developer like that's also like it, it shouldn't matter that much at the end of the day you know what you're making is really good and you know it's a game so like do you really need the acknowledgement from roblox for them to call it a game like it's just the word like it's it doesn't matter what it's called gamer experience like it, what it is 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 good that's what i think that's why i don't think it's like i know i'm not a dev but i i can't speak for them but if i was a dev then I think that I wouldn't care that much as long as what I'm making and creating and putting out there is, 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 is good content. I wouldn't need the label of it being called a game or need it to not be called experience. But that's just my opinion. And maybe I'm wrong because I'm not a dev, but let's uh, see I, more. I stream video games. I'm a game live streamer. I'm not an experience streamer. I don't, I don't stream experiences. I live stream video games. And when you start calling video games experiences, it... it, it Get stupid stuff like this. The experience as developer has temporarily shut down the experience server. No, it's a video game. Okay? <laughs> it's funny, but... It's a video but... game. It's not an experience. Like, Jay Party said that an obby isn't a video game. Yes, it is. It's a video game. A virtual concert. It is a virtual concert. I mean, they're all video games. Yeah, I 100% agree with that. Uh, in fairness, Roblox in on itself is a platform. Yeah, exactly. The worlds are the games. But the Roblox platform itself, as you said, is more of a social media site. Yeah, like it is. Uh, but if we're just referring to the games portion as experiences and the reason why they're doing it is so that they don't get charged or sued is smart, then they should do it. And I don't think devs should care that much because at the end of the day, it's helping the app get to more people because the other option is Apple removing it from the app store which is going to be a lot worse for devs than having something called an experience over a game. You know what I mean? Thanks, Rain. Huh? My Roblox username is Sans. No, it's not a Roblox username. It's a user experience, okay? You're not allowed to use username anymore either. But it's in a video game. It's an experience <laughs> in a video game. It's still a video game. And I think the reason why this really upsets me is because, like, you know, for so long, gaming gamers you know ha have been um kind of ridiculed right gaming hasn't really been that popular and now over the past few years it's gotten really popular you know being a gamer is cool now and suddenly you have these giant <laughs> i'm thinking like instead of gaming and exp it's experiencing and now I, i'm a experiencer instead of a gamer it's kind of funny though. Uh, that are trying to redefine what a video game is just so they can make more money and it just it, it feels like a slap in the face like i didn't work my butt off over the past you know five years to be an experienced streamer you know I'm, I'm a game streamer i'm a video game streamer that's what i am i play video games i'm a gamer i i'm not an experiencer the game developers on roblox <laughs> they're is. game developers they're not experiencer experience developers. like that's just Dumb. Again, I don't think Roblox really had much of a choice here. Uh, yeah, their, their hands exactly. Are kind of tied, but you know, Apple. So you my, shouldn't be mad at Roblox. If anything, you should be mad at Apple. Like that's the my God, dude. End like, of the day. Do you really need that much? More, do you really need that much more money that you're willing to redefine what a video game is? Either way, what is going to be happening in the future with this is entirely dependent on whoever wins. Does Epic win against Apple? Uh, do, does the judge will the judge agree that hey apple is being a little bit unfair here or will apple win if apple wins then it looks like well I, actually i have no idea i'm not a lawyer but obviously depending on whether fortnite or apple wins some things are probably going to be changing in the future for example the judge could literally rule hey uh apple you said that if you're a game on the app store then they have to pay $30, you know, 30% of every every game purchase. The judge could literally make Roblox start doing that, right? It, he could. We'll have to see what happens. Anyway, the article, Apple said Roblox developers don't make games. You know, Roblox agrees. Quite frankly, <laughs> I don't care what Apple says. I, I, I'm a gamer. I play video games. The things on Roblox, they're not experiences. They're games. I'm going to call them games. They're video games. I play games that the game developers make, and they're games. And that's it. Period. All right, you, you, you're never going to convince me that it's an experience. It's a video game. And that's 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 about all I got to say about that. Hopefully. So, like, uh, like, I think that the worst part about this entire thing is that Apple is trying to define what a game is. And they're saying that you can only put games on the app. Like, you can't put games anywhere else. They have to be in the App Store. And then they are allowed to take your money no matter what. And it sounds like they have a vendetta against Epic Games for whatever reason instead of Roblox because they defended Roblox, which is just weird, and said it wasn't a game. 
So yeah, I agree. I think what's really stupid is that Apple thinks they could say what it is and what goes and what not or whatever and all that stuff. They don't know any better than us, okay? We are gamers. But also, at the end of the day, if it's what Roblox has to do to stay on the App Store and to not get sued and to keep Robux not costing more money and Builders Club costing more money, uh, and yeah, just keeping it available for mobile players. They got to do what they got to do. So uh, I don't think it's that huge of a deal. But again, I'm not a dev. Uh, and I am a gamer though, and I wouldn't personally have a problem with it if it was called that from now on. I still think it would be weird. Like, it, yeah, it does look weird when it says this experience is no longer working, blah, 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 experience this and experience that. Uh, but it's just a word at the end of the day, and it doesn't even make any sense. Words don't even make any sense. They're just, if you spoke a different language, then you wouldn't even know what the word game is. You know what I mean? <laughs> that doesn't really make sense because there's translations. But you know what I mean? Like, it's really just a word at the end of the day. It's not going to actually change anything with your favorite games, we'll call them, and your favorite game developers. Uh, you shouldn't allow it to affect you because at the end of the day, it's, it's just in your head that it's affecting you, okay? So uh, hopefully the devs don't take too much to heart what's going on but also you know what but yeah i mean i think apple is just annoying i think that's like what it is at the end of the day like i don't actually care that they're called experiences i just i, I more so care that apple literally was like you can't put your app on here if it's a game it, or, and roblox isn't a game but fortnite is so yeah we're gonna win this lawsuit because of that and yeah we're just gonna take a percent of fortnite because there's an end to fortnite oh wait there is no end to fortnite uh-oh. Fortnite's not a game? Huh? What? I'm confused now. I don't really know how to feel about some of the stuff Roblox does anymore, bro. Like, anytime they do something that, like, totally throws me off guard, I just, I can't even find myself surprised anymore. It's two things that Roblox did recently. I don't feel like making two videos on two very minor things, because, like, I feel like it's just oh. a waste of your and my time. Let's two go ahead things. and talk about two of the things that have happened on Roblox recently that are pretty interesting. And I don't know if these are really making the community mad, so to speak, compared to other Roblox updates, but it's just people have the question of like, why? First off, the <laughs> most minor thing in this video probably is the fact that Roblox changed their username from being uppercase to lowercase. Okay, I'm actually what? a brain lit. <laughs> Roblox just changed their name to be proper punctuation, not lowercase, not uppercase. You get what I mean. I don't really know what people are expecting me to comment on that one. Like, um, very cool Roblox, I guess. Like, this is why you understand why I couldn't make a full video on this. I <laughs> yeah, I don't care about that at all. What the heck? Imagine just, you know, a video showing up in your notifications of like, Hey guys, Roblox changed their name to be proper punctuation. Like and subscribe. Like, it's seriously <laughs> something I legit would have never noticed if nobody pointed it out. Yeah, I no, probably would have noticed a couple months ago, but um, Dave Brown on Twitter just said that the Roblox name has not been correctly named. The account has been named Roblox since the deception, and it has been finally corrected. Really the most pointless change of all time, but there's people in the comments <laughs> making, like, very weird things saying, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> Roblox felt like a more iconic name. Roblox feels like an awesome Lego game. Roblox feels like a company that won't listen to anyone and would rather ruin itself. Dude, what is he talking about? That's just like, like something deeper, bro. It's not about like if it's capitalized or not. That's just how you actually feel about the game, and you're just like plugging and playing your opinion into the, like the situation that has nothing to do with it. What are you talking it's not about? that deep. It's a username. I really don't think anyone, even the most jaded of Roblox players, will care about something like that. So I'm just going to move on to the next thing that a lot of you guys probably have already noticed and seen various different YouTubers talk about is how Roblox renamed the game section of the website. If you go into the Roblox website, you're going to go up to the top left corner and see Home, Discover, Avatar, Shop, and Create. But then you wonder where the games are. The Discover tab used to be named Games, and it literally even says that in the Roblox URL to reflect oh, this. However, you just decided no, just for kidding. some reason <laughs> to rename it to Discover recently. Now again, I'll make it clear, people aren't 100% mad about this, because if you're actually mad about Roblox changing one word on the website, then I seriously think you need to touch some grass. The Games tab... <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was saying, bro. Like, what? it doesn't matter that much, right? Like, you can't be that Roblox mad about it. Roblox has now been renamed to Discover. You may also see some more changes like this appear across the platform soon due to Roblox wanting to transition the turn games to experiences. <laughs> when searching for an experience on Roblox, oh my, it feels so freaking... Correct me if I'm wrong, but doesn't YouTube normally take, like, 45% of ad revenue these days? 
I don't know for sure because I don't. Uh, yes, they 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 do, but you don't even see that. You just see what percent you make. Uh, which now YouTube, I don't upload videos. I or live stream. I upload experiences, so you shouldn't even take any percent of it. Okay, I don't upload videos. They're experiences, and since they're experiences then you can't take a percentage of my money. And now I'm gonna sue you. No, I'm just kidding, that's a complete joke. But seriously, that's basically as dumb as this Apple thing. That's like a perfect example. Weird to call it that. It autofills name and discover rather than name and games. Nobody's mad about it. Like I'm looking at the <laughs> But comments, why though? <laughs> I'm making a joke about it. I literally asked just why. And Precap is just, <laughs> baby. but why, <laughs> LOL. Now, there are two reasons that Roblox decided to do this. One of them being a rumor and one of them being a fact. The first one, which is the fact part of this is that Roblox has been trying to push their platform to be more professional. Um, I don't know what changing the game's name to discover or experiences is going to seem professional like but i digress i'm not the one working on their website design and it all apparently pinpoints back to the epic games versus apple lawsuit again i have to make it 100 percent clear this is a rumor and this should not be taken as fact i've seen other youtubers talk about this as well i'm not sure if they've disclaimed if that this is solely just a rumor but i'm making that clear before i begin on anything for those that are so he doesn't get sued by apple a a epic i almost combined epic and apple uh, <laughs> also, <laughs> Epic Games versus Apple lawsuit currently ongoing and being argued right now in court right now. Um, it is something that's been going on for the past year. You might have seen the free Fortnite movement go around. Basically, Epic Games is challenging Apple Fortnite. for having restrictions on apps for in-game purchases outside of the Apple Store. And they don't want that. They want to be able to have their own way to make their own money without having Apple take most of the cut of the revenue. It's actually a relatively interesting case if you're into any sort of legal stuff and definitely something worth following. But point aside is that- I can't go this whole video without saying how fun this like looks to play right now. Like I, I literally just am like staring at the screen. Like I'm in awe, like I'm obviously listening to what Kaneko was saying, but like, I just like, this looks so much fun. <laughs> he's currently suing Apple in court right now and arguing against them for having stupid Monkey. restrictions <laughs> on all of the apps in the app store. Why this apparently has any sort of link to do anything related to Roblox is from somebody on Discord. So again, I have to say- On Discord, I don't really? Know how That's the source? This is, but Epic Games got accused of Apple by violating the App Store TOS for having in-store game in their application. So Epic used their case against Roblox, kind of like Minecraft. Basically, Roblox got accused by Epic Games for violating the App Store's TOS as well, because Roblox is sort of like the App Store inside of an App Store in their eyes anyways. Well, kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I kind of get that, I kind of get that. Epic Games also accused Apple of a bias. And because Roblox had the label- I also of think that it's kind of a little bias as well. <laughs> games, it didn't help their case. This caused Roblox to legally work around by saying that the games aren't games. This means Roblox legally has to use safe words to work around having words to reference game playing. This is why you see words like experiences, active, and discover, which is really, strange and i haven't seen any confirmation on this being 100 percent true but it does seem plausible basically it seems like roblox is doing a legal loophole to not find themselves in the same position that epic was and on trial day five of this case on may 7 2021 this is something that was actually brought up and was an argument of court that was made wow. of whether roblox okay. is a game or not and so it's not just a rumor because it was actually brought up in court is like, I mean, it's a pretty valid argument. It's easy for Epic to compare Fortnite to it. However, the arguments that was made by Roblox is that Roblox is not a game. It Roblox is, is a metaverse. It's a metaverse, or that it is a platform, which is the strongest argument to make against this, and honestly defeats a lot of Epic's point in court. And I See, I said that a little bit earlier. Like, when you go on Fortnite, you're basically there to play Fortnite. Like, there's not much deeper you can go. On Roblox, you can, like, log on like a social media thing like you can make a post you can go to a group you could make a shirt you could buy a shirt you can go to the catalog get a ugc item uh like add friends uh and then obviously games is a part of it but then you can also like make a game so there's a lot more you can do so that's like also like a good defense as well but that whole like there's no end to Roblox, like making it not a game, like games have to have an end is just like, does that even make sense? Because Fortnite really doesn't have an end either. Like that's like the worst argument you can have. I think the majority of Roblox players can wholeheartedly agree that Roblox is not a game. 
and it is a platform for games, or how Roblox describes it, a metaverse. I hate using that word because it sounds <laughs> like some corny word out of Back to the Future <laughs> of games. Thus defeating a lot of Epic Games point in court and making Roblox relevance in this case very non-existent. And I think it does make sense. This whole thing does make sense here of why Roblox potentially changed their name because they do just want to evade any potential legal trouble that comes from this. Even yes. some Roblox developers have agreed with this sentiment, like Polyhex, for example, the developer that has worked on Super Doom Spire and Super hey, Bomb Survival. The level. They stated on Twitter that there is no way that the games to experience thing Roblox did wasn't because of pressure from Apple. I'm uh, They probably wanted to change it to reflect what they said during the Epic during Apple case. An epic. Yeah, I mean, the chances of them just changing it randomly like that are pretty slim. Right. Being considered a game storefront likely pressured Roblox to change it to experiences to prove Apple's point that Roblox is not a games front, which it's confusing legal mumbo jumbo at this point onward. And also keep in mind, anything said in this video related to this change is 100% skeptical. From the person working yeah. on Bloxy News, Blox is saying, <laughs> keep in mind that this is not confirmed to be the reason. Roblox has been testing renaming games to discover months before the Epic and Apple hearing. Basically, it's confusing. It's either a mix mash of Roblox wanting to be more professional, like they've been testing the round with this for the past couple of months, or simply the fact that this epic trial is going on and they wanted to reflect what was said in the trial. And again, it's just extremely confusing all around. I just wanted to give my explanation and thoughts on this. None of this is confirmed, so don't treat this video as such. And that's really all I got. It was really a mouthful for the last half of this video because of legal stuff. So I'm sorry for all that if it confused some people. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe if you're new for daily Roblox content and comment down below. Daily Roblox think. experiences. So ladies, gentlemen, or whatever. Thank you so much for watching this Roblox video. I'll hopefully catch you all in tomorrow's Roblox video as per usual. And until later, I'm Kaneko. As always, stay hydrated, stay real. Peace. Yeah, so like... It happened a few days ago, and at the end of the day, I didn't even notice. Yo, that's the end of the vid, but you can go watch more by clicking one of these right now. Hurry and click one. Hurry! You don't even know what's gonna happen to me! Click it now! Ah!